Hey there fellow nostalgia time travelers, welcome to Chrononaut, the channel that takes you on a journey through the mind-bending magnitudious multiversal maze of mischief, mockery, and mayhem. Howdy, picnic basket thieving enthusiasts. Get ready for a picnic basket stealing, wisecracking adventure as we delve into the zany world of Yogi Bear. It's not just about picnic baskets, it's a roller coaster of hilarity inspired by Art Carney's antics and named after the legendary Yogi Berra. Grab your ranger hats and join us for a trip down the animated memory lane as we unravel some mind-boggling trivia about the bear who made Jellystone Park a household name. Now let's get into it. Number 1. Yogi Bear's distinctive mannerisms may have taken a page from Art Carney's playbook, but his name? Well, that was a blatant steal from the baseball great Yogi Berra. It's like they combine the antics of a comedian with the wisdom of a sports legend to create the ultimate animated troublemaker. Two. Charlton Comics brought Yogi Bear to the comic book realm in November 1970, riding on the success of the Yogi Bear show. Gene Hazelton, the artistic mastermind behind Flintstone characters Pebbles and Bam Bam, brought Yogi's antics to life in the first-ever Yogi Bear comic strip that hit the scene shortly after the animated series in 1961. 3. Yogi's animated escapades kicked off with the episode Pie Pirates in 1961, sponsored by Kellogg's Cereals. It wasn't just about nabbing picnic baskets. Yogi's antics were the perfect breakfast entertainment. Talk about starting the day with a bear-sized dose of laughter. 4. Yogi Bear wasted no time leaping from the television screen to the colorful pages of comic books. His misadventures in Jellystone found a new home in comic book panels, ensuring fans could enjoy his antics anytime, anywhere. 5. The Yogi Bear Show hit the syndication scene on January 30, 1961, treating viewers to 33 episodes until January 6, 1962. The show featured not only Yogi's antics, but also included two segments, the flamboyant Snagglepuss and the adorable Yaki Doodle, adding an extra layer of animated charm. 6. Snagglepuss, the pink mountain lion with a penchant for dramatic phrases, had his roots in the distinctive voice of character actor Bertlar, the cowardly lion from The Wizard of Oz, Dawes Butler, the voice behind Snagglepuss. Even earned on-screen credit for a serial commercial after Lar insisted on a disclaimer to avoid any confusion. 7. The lookalike odd couple, the Pink Panther might share a visual resemblance with Snagglepuss, but these two characters are as different as night and day. While Snagglepuss never stops talking, the Pink Panther remains silent, creating a dynamic contrast in their animated personas. 8. Before donning the iconic pink fur and collar, Snagglepuss had humble beginnings as Snaggletooth on Quick Draw McGraw in 1959. Two years later, he evolved into the sophisticated Snagglepuss on the Yogi Bear show, proving that even animated characters can undergo a stylish makeover. And there you have it, Jellystone enthusiasts. As we bid adieu to the Jellystone jungle, let's give a cheer for Yogi Bear and his gang, who've kept us giggling through stolen picnic baskets and animated capers. In the immortal words of Yogi, I'm smarter than the average bear. Keep that yogi spirit alive, keep those laughs coming, and stay tuned for more animated adventures. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. <laughs>